Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making two anime inspired paintings, one on canvas and the other on glass. You might have seen these popular glass paintings on TikTok, but I'll be teaching you how to make them with pressed flowers for a unique twist. This video will include two parts, so check the timestamps for the tutorial you'd like to follow. Before I start, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on my other content. It kinda demon slays! Alright, so first I will teach you how to make the modern canvas painting. This style has gotten very popular in quarantine with many artists creating cartoonified headshots of themselves. To start off, you want to search for a reference photo. I created a folder with all the images I liked and looked for a picture with a clear profile. I really like this picture of Tanjiro because it was a front-facing profile with simple lines and colors. Then draw the outline onto plain paper, leaving out the facial features for the modern look. If you don't want to freehand draw the image, you can also turn up the brightness of your laptop and tape the paper to your screen to trace it. Just make sure the dimensions will fit inside your canvas. Next, transfer your drawing onto canvas. I'm using a technique called graphite transferring. This process will be easier if you have graphite paper, but if you don't have any, I will teach you how to DIY your own. First, take a sheet of paper and put it on top of your drawing. Then scribble and cover all of the areas that you want to transfer with a pencil. It's best to go beyond the lines just a bit to be safe, and also go in the opposite direction to make sure the graphite captures all the details. And this will create hash marks and essentially a darker graphite, so you will easily see your design when it's transferred. Now he looks like a monkey. <laughs> Then cut the graphite sheet so it fits the same dimensions as your drawing. Tape the sheets together with the graphite side on the bottom facing the canvas. Double check to make sure all the graphite you scribbled covers the drawing. So now I'm going to take my pencil and I am going to trace and outline everything that I see here. When tracing, apply some pressure to your pencil. This will cause the graphite to transfer onto your canvas. Carefully lift the paper after you're done, and you'll see the image transfer onto your canvas. It should transfer over, just like that. Go back in and darken any lines that you see to make the painting process easier. The next step is the fun part, painting. I am using acrylic paint, and I recommend painting in the order of largest surface area to the smallest, leaving the details for last. Using a small flat brush is recommended to get into the linear details and edges. The hardest colors to mix are skin tones. You can make the shade with white, a touch of yellow, and just a tiny bit of red. Then fill in our homeboy's details like his hair and scar. After the paint is dry, use a black sharpie to mark tiny details on the Hanafuda earrings and earlobes. And that's it! The modern Demon Slayer canvas painting is complete. making the glass painting with pressed flowers. You can get pressed flowers from Amazon and 5x7 glass panes from Dollar Tree. Remove the glass from the picture frames and you'll be ready to go. Just a tip, you want to look for the images that have blades in them so then the background is where I will fill in with the flowers. First, use a paint pen or sharpie to trace your anime character onto the glass. If you mess up, you can easily remove the sharpie with an expo marker. Next, 
Next, pick out the flowers you want to press onto your painting. The flowers are super thin, so use a delicate touch. Use a second glass panel to help position the flowers and lay your glass on top to check whether you like the design before gluing. This helps save time and also prevents tearing the flowers in case you didn't like where you stuck them. I am filling up all of Shinobu's robes and uniform with purple and pink flowers. Depending on your style, you can also paint her robes with acrylic paint and then put flowers as a background. Up to you! Make sure you use a clear glue made for glass. This will make sure you don't see the glue after it dries. Also, glue the flowers with the colors facing out so it will show through the front of the painting. Rotate the flowers so the petals cover all the blank spaces on the glass. After finishing gluing on the flowers, add some additional details on the background such as vines and leaves to give some definition. For an extra 3D effect, you can glue another glass pane to the back, but I just left mine the way it is. After you're done gluing, trace over some of the lines on the front if it got smudged. After that, you are finished with this tutorial! Comment down below which tutorial you're going to try or if you're excited for the second season of Demon Slayer. Or honestly, if you have any anime recs that I need to add to my binge list. Like and subscribe if this video slayed and I hope to see you next time. Bye!